Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. So I am starting to add some pockets and things. Not really embellishing yet, just adding pockets and I thought I would bring you along with me. I have everything mostly prepared, so it should be pretty quick. I already uh, added this pocket in. I just, you know, did a basic pocket with some stitching across and this little cut, this came from the paper pack that I'm working with. There were just a bunch of cutouts, um, you know, a couple pages of cutouts. So it's just one of those. And I left it like this so that at some point, you know, something can go and just kind of tuck um, underneath. And maybe something just like this. These are actually post-it notes, so I would have to back it. But anyway, I left that as that. All right, so... I'm going to try and leave some things, you know, like for instance, I want to cover this, but, and, and like put a pocket, but I also want to leave some pages. So I'm going to try to leave this alone, but not on this side. So what I thought to do on this side, this is a pocket that I showed you guys once before, but I've altered it a little bit. You know how you have the cutoffs from your um, 12 by 12 sheets when you're making signatures. Let me make sure that I'm in a good spot here. So um, I've shown you this before. This one's just slightly different. So what you do is you take your piece and you start by folding it this way. And then if you have anything hanging off, you want to cut that down. Okay. So then this ends up being a top tuck spot on your page so that you can put something in like this, right? And this ends up being a flip up. And so the time I did it before, I'm pretty sure I left it long, but this time I'm folding the end up and then making another little pocket on it so that something can go right down in here. I thought that would be cute. So let's go ahead and glue all of this together. Now, again, as I showed you this the first time, you could take, you know, leave this so that it unfolds so you have a writing space here. But I just think that if I tried to do that, it would be a problem with this closing. But I don't know, maybe not. I just, I don't want to do it. So I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it closed. And I'm working with everything. I need to just work with the one page because I'm afraid I'm going to end up gluing something I don't want to be gluing. So let me get these out of my way and work with just this one page to make sure you guys are in frame. I have my curtain slightly open and I'm really hoping that I am not blinding you guys. To get this out of my way, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Now, I could have cut this off and turned it around and made it a pocket that totally blends. Or I could have cut it off and used that piece of paper somewhere else and just made a pocket with this. Um, there are different ways you could do it. You could do like, could have done like a double pocket with it. Lots of things you can do, but I just, this is just the way I wanted to do it. So it will make it a little bit thicker because this is a, you know, like a cardstock type of a scrapbook paper. But, you know, that's okay. That is okay with me. We'll go ahead and glue this down. So how are you guys doing? I keep asking about your weather. I, I keep on hearing from lots of people saying their spring is not what they had hoped. <laughs> it's kind of the case here too. Um, I mean, spring's not over yet, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it gets a little better, but it's, um, cold. It is cold. We had snow. Was it yesterday morning? Yeah. There was snow yesterday morning. I mean, it melted, you know, by the end of the day, it was all gone, but still, that is not something that I wanted to wake up and see. glue. 
So that'll be a cute little spot to tuck something in. And then we want to glue this down, but we want to glue just here and here so that it's a tuck spot going here. So let's go ahead and do that. so I can get a good eye on it. that and then there's this little this was also one of the cutouts this is just a note and I think that's cute so I'm going to add that I've been watching on YouTube, I've been watching, um, there are some shows where they, they show, or, you know, channels where they show abandoned mansions and castles and things like that. Have you guys seen them? They're sort of addicting and they make me giggle. Have I told you guys about this before? <laughs> it's pretty funny. I mean, it's, it's fun to watch. It actually makes me just a little bit sad to see you know, things that are beautiful falling apart and all that. But um, I understand at the same time, you know, some of those places would cost a fortune to, you know, keep up. And so the families have to just leave them or something. And also I think land ownership and stuff like that, you know, it's totally different in different countries. And so what would make sense to me, it could be just like impossible there. I don't know, but they're fun to watch. There's let me see, as I'm think as I'm doing this, I'll be trying to think of the name of the one that I've watched the most. Oh, Bros of Decay. Have I told you about that? B R O S of D K. Um, and, and the guy is adorable. He's like I don't know, 25 or something like that, and he gets so excited. And I love that he gets so excited about it. I think he's from Belgium. I think is what he has said. And um, I've only been watching it for like a month or something. I found it. I don't know. Maybe something like that. And um, so you guys, I will embellish these more. Um, but right now, I just want to get some, you know, pockets and tuck spots and stuff down. Um, for this page, I did this on my own, but I just stitched some vellum. I didn't want to cover up the bright colors of this, you know, permanently cover it up. So, and I also need to put a thumb a hole punch um, right here. But I left it so that I could put like some small sort of tag in it and you'd still be able to see the bright colors behind it and then like the bright colors of the tag. So I did that on both sides of this. Anyway, so this kid, he's so funny. He gets really excited and he's like, I am about to show you one of the most amazing abandoned mansions I have ever seen. And I love it. <laughs> it cracks me up. Okay, this is really pretty stationary. Um, that I was out shopping once with my friend Donna. Hello, Donna, if you're watching. And we found this there were like cards and stationery and envelopes and they're so stinking pretty and we we split them up um so she got some and I got some and it comes with really really pretty envelopes too aren't they just gorgeous anyway let me see if I can tell you what the name of this is the shop that we got them from closed so but it's like in in the flowers, so I don't know if I can read it or not. Um, 
something, oh, Carol's Rose Garden, Garden Note Set, Carol Wilson Fine Arts, Inc. Carol Wilson Fine Arts, Inc. There's no website or anything, so I don't know if you can get these, you know, on a website or, you know, online or, or not, but they're gorgeous. They're embossed and it feels so nice and it looks really pretty. So I did a flip up there and then these, I'm leaving this. I added a little bit of scrapbook paper to the back side of this um, just so that it wasn't white. I told you I don't know if I'd be able to leave some things white. I'm going to try and leave these things. Okay, so now on this page, this is some really, really thin dyed paper. It's really thin. And so what I thought I would do here is make, I want to make a, a side tuck. So it's going to be only attached here and here. And I was thinking that if I did that, I could put something like, a card or an, and I don't know what I could put like, this is an envelope that I had it. I found at a thrift store. It was actually my daughter purchased something at a thrift store and it came with this envelope anyway, so that you could have something in going this way in the tuck, but then also open so that you could hang something off of it. So, but this is not very sturdy paper. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is add a couple of flip outs to strengthen the edge here. And then also that'll make the other side of this paper look pretty when you turn the page. So let's just start by gluing this down. So yeah, the, the show, there's another one called, I think it's called Explore, Explore. Explormo or something. If you find one, then you'll find that you'll be asked if you want to watch the others. You know what I mean? The suggested things, you know, I think they're both pretty popular. So anyway, they're fun, something different to watch, you know, and also as I'm watching it, oh my goodness, you guys, there's so much stuff left in those houses that could be put in journals. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, he finds, you know, letters and bills and photos, and they're just left in these houses, and they're rotting away, which is really sad. But like they say, you know, the guys that are doing it, you know, they're like, you can't really assume why the family has left things. You know, it could be there is no family left or something. So you never know, and oftentimes it's just too expensive, you know, like I said, to try to... Um, maintain such huge properties and you know with old electric and fireplace in every room and the roof is falling in and the floors have rotted out and I mean just it's really sad to see but it's understandable why they become the way they do when they're as big as they are I mean I we it's hard to keep up you know our small family homes you know that we have now and try to keep up with the um, you know, current whatever, if that's something that you, you know, care about. I try to keep things fairly current, but I don't, I don't buy into all of the fashion fads. I, I do not. That kind of is irritating if you ask me. They're like, oh, now everything must be this color and, and now it must be this color. I'm like, you know what? I don't think so. You come and pay for it and we'll talk about that. Anyway, that's one of my little pet peeves. With the, I like to watch the home channels and stuff like that for inspiration, but I hate it when they act like something is no longer of use. And if you live in a home that doesn't look current, then you're a loser. Those kinds of things really, really bother me really bother me. Sorry, I didn't mean to like get all serious, <laughs> but that really bothers me. I remember, um, I probably said this before, but back a long time ago, like 10, 15 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. And 
we were watching HGTV and they're ripping out all of the um, countertops in these kitchens and they're they're doing like fifty to seventy thousand dollar kitchen remodels because you know people have that much money laying around and so they go into debt for all these kitchen remodels and they were putting in granite countertops that cost twenty thousand dollars and I'm you know was telling my husband you watch you watch mark my words they're going to be ripping those things out saying how ugly they are in 10 years and sure enough that's exactly what they're doing and these people spent so much money um having something put in to just tear it out okay so on this side we have these and then this was the center page and i wanted to make it so that i could keep this picture down here but cover up the wording so i took one of those post-it notes that I showed you earlier and I just covered the back with some copy paper to thicken it up a little bit and I'm just gonna glue this up here as a uh, upside down pocket Gosh, I feel guilty about ranting. I hope it wasn't sounding like I was ranting. I wasn't really trying to rant. Because I really do like home projects. I mean, it's like one of my favorite things to do, but I like very affordable home projects. That I remember um, in my, I would say early 20s, and it, I don't know if HGTV had started yet or if these TV shows I was watching were on other channels. I totally don't remember. But, of course, there was Martha Stewart. I loved watching Martha Stewart. Oh, my goodness, I loved watching her. We're almost done, actually. I'm surprised this didn't take me very long because it took a long time to plan it. I might go look for a envelope or something to hang right there. Um. Anyway... I remember watching these shows and they were just simple home improvement projects and they would give you these prices. They'd be like, well, okay, so this I, I did so that, again, I'm covering the words and it's just kind of going to be a tuck spot. I did a little stitching here and here and I added these little things that were from the little cutouts and I just thought, you know, bring a little bit of dark in would help break up all the pink Anyway, um, there was a show called Design on a Dime, or there was there was a show called Home Matters. I loved that show. Uh, they did simple little projects, very affordable. And, you know, after watching it, you could go to the craft store and spend 20 bucks and do a project instead of watching the show and say, you know, they're like... Now, if you have that extra $10,000 laying around, you know, anyway. And then there was a show, did I say already? Design on a Dime? There was that one. Um, and then, of course, Trading Spaces. Now, sometimes that was silly. They, they did ridiculous things. But, you know, they had a budget and they kept to the budget. And they would do like a whole room on a budget and sometimes it was really really cool and if not even if you didn't like the whole room you know there might be a project within the episode that you were like oh I could do that at my house and I did I did lots of things that were inspired from those shows that didn't cost me an arm and a leg but anyway Um, there was a show, now this one would have been an expensive one. Um, I'm making sure I'm in, in the frame. Her name was Lynette Jennings, and she showed things that she had, like, remodeled homes. Okay, so I made a fabric flip so I could cover up um, this pink. I had purchased a spring, I think it was a spring uh, junk journal kit from Marcy at Creators Call Shop. Hi, Marcy. And this was one of the fabrics, and it's just perfect. The colors just went perfectly. And then um, I just did a couple of little different 
sometimes it doesn't fit and that's okay. So I just, I might add just a slight amount more glue so that it covers up the fact that this piece of fabric didn't go all the way up to the top. You know, you can cheat a little bit. And then I did a little stamp on fabric here. I just think that is adorable. And then I added some heart um, trim at the top and bottom. So I'm gonna add just a little bit. And I'm just gonna do art glitter glue. So that if anybody is looking really closely, maybe they won't notice that the fabric doesn't go all the way to the top. And then we'll add Fabri-Tac and glue it on down. There was another show, um, Decorating Scents, I think is what it was called. And I think they would do $500 rooms. I know some of you watching this right now will be like, I remember those shows. <laughs> but anyway. Last summer we started painting our trim white. See, now there's something that's affordable and it makes a huge difference in the look of your home. But of course, that's only if you finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't finished it. <laughs> I only got so far. And then it got cold. Um, and I have to do the windows and stuff. And you know how windows sweat? And I was like, well, if I can't do the whole room, maybe I'm just gonna stop at that for now. So I need to I need to finish up in my bedroom. I've done most of my bedroom, but I need to do the window still. So anyway, those are all the things I have. I'm going to pull out my, this is the first pages. I'm going to pull out my cards real quick and see if I find something cute. I have one in mind, I think. I think it was a dollar store one, but I don't know if it'll be the right colors. That's really pretty. I love those colors together. So I will do something to embellish. I just don't know what yet. Do something, something, you know, I don't know. Probably put some, this will definitely be a Rick Rack um, journal. Isn't this hilarious? Uh, let's see here. Oh, this one's pretty. They're like, well, show us. <laughs> just a second. I could use some of the Mary Inglebright ones since I'm not allowed to do a Mary Inglebright journal. These ones were gifted to me by, I have quite a few. I might have put them in my Mary Inglebright box though. Let's see if I have anything that'll go. I'm thinking of one that opens, that opens like long ways because otherwise it's not gonna look right. You know, like I can't put this because it would be upside down. Um, yeah, I think I have some that I got at the dollar store. Oh, this one's cute. Nice and bright, but it's this part's upside down. It's really bright, isn't it? And you're like, okay, Stephanie, that's enough. That's enough. There's that one. I'm not sure which one I'll use, but you get the idea. I'll find something to go there. Oh, this one's cool. That one's kind of cool, isn't it? Okay. So that's what I have so far. Oh, this is good. I Let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to thy word. So that can go in like that. I like that. Anyway. So we've got partially, you know, 
filled in. So let's go ahead and flip through and see what it looks like now. So we'll stick something, you know, underneath there. Something in here and something in here. It's a really pretty flip up. And I'll add tabs and fabrics and things. So this will just open up and pull out. And then these open up. I'll probably add tabs to these and this will poke something up in there. I'll probably add like fabric going alongside here. And then the fabric flip that is slightly sideways. I need to pull that off and fix it. I hope it doesn't tear my paper. You know how I was talking the other day about how glue, you know, you can get it off if you really, really want to. See, that wasn't even hot glue when I was able to get it off. I mean, it wasn't totally dry yet. The hot glue, I think, would have torn the paper really bad. So, just saying. Okay, so there we are for now. I don't know what I will be doing to complete it. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.